is Mumbai city and on most days traffic here is pretty awful. Now usually Mumbai's traffic it's all about the super slow show but today things are a bit different because right now it's time for the supercar show. The concept of the supercar show is really simple. It starts with a millionaire businessman who loves cars who puts out a giant bat signal in the sky calling out to all his other really rich friends with cars. Hi guys. And there's really only two rules. Your car's got to be expensive and it's got to be super cool. And so all his rich friends say sure. We could spend a Sunday morning blasting down the streets of Mumbai showing off our really expensive metal. And that's how you end up in a parking lot in Mumbai with a parade of the world's snazziest cars all lined up in a row. Ferraris, four of them. Lamborghinis, Tito. Aston Martins, why not? Nissan GTRs, present sir. The amount of metal on display at the supercar show was worth enough money to run a small country. Lamborghinis, Porsches, Bentleys, Ferraris, yes, I mentioned these cars in plural. All lined up and looking super hot. But these boots were made for walking or should we say driving. So why don't we just fire them up? Because these cars might look great, but with all those V8s, V10s and V12s gathered in the same place, they sound even better. This thing is called the supercar show and not the supercar race for a reason. Because it isn't a race. It's just about showing off some really pretty cars. And once it got on the road, what a show it was. Talking about because I ain't got time. What people be talking about. Last year I think it gained huge momentum, great participation of media and people and also cars. I mean think they've just multiplied from being at 39, 40 last year, I think it was 70 cars this year. I think it's phenomenal and it's, it, it just takes it to the next level. It's not about owning rich cars and you know, sort of showing your wealth out. See, the, the best thing what um, Gautam said was, it's, uh, it's getting a smile on the uh, people's face, you know, to lighten up everybody and get some excitement in there. Take it back, I'm doing better than before, why would I do that? Starting at Darwin Point in South Mumbai before heading down the city's most iconic waterfront marine drive, for two hours you could tell yourself that you weren't in Mumbai but probably in Monaco. And with a convoy of supercars blasting down its streets, Mumbai really put those camera phones to good use. If ever the term car porn was appropriate, it'd be now. I mean, it isn't every day you see a Ferrari followed by a Lamborghini followed by a 911 barreling past you. And if that's not enough, maybe you're the sort who wants to see a beautiful Rolls Royce Phantom or a Bentley Continental GT gliding down the road. No? Maybe you like classic muscle and prefer an old school Mustang. Or if you like slightly odder stuff, like this phenomenally retro aerial Atom 2, a car that decided that bodywork just adds weight and is totally unnecessary. Or this Can-Am Spider Rider, a trike made by the makers of some of the best ATVs in the world. Or then maybe you just want to watch a bunch of Lamborghinis in formation tearing down the road. Until, well, that guy got bored. Buy a Lamborghini now because the motor transport is just a fast car. It's a lifestyle, it's a love affair. You, you, it, it's like part of you. As the cars finally turned around and headed home, the supercar party wound down. And you're probably wondering, well, if it isn't a race, it wasn't a massive speed run, then what's the point? Great day out, I really enjoyed myself because I don't really get a chance to, you know, take the car out and have, uh, give it a good run. Mm -hmm. what, what were you driving today? Well, uh, initially I first uh, drove my Lambo, then I switched over to the Phantom, so I got a little bit of both. The point is, with over 40 of the greatest cars in the world on display, it was a celebration of motoring. It did what it promised on the box. It was indeed a supercar show. 